If you use ShareFactory to make your thumbnails but when you upload them to YouTube they disappear then this video is here to help. So if you're a PS4 player and want to learn how to make gaming videos using the free and easy ShareFactory app on the PS4 then this is the channel for you so please do subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future videos and at the same time look at the description below where you'll see lots of other ShareFactory videos that may be of use. Okay, so getting into the video itself then, I've been making ShareFactory videos for a while now and I've had a number of comments through my other ShareFactory videos saying that people spend lots of time making thumbnails in ShareFactory but when they upload it to uh, YouTube the thumbnail isn't there. So I've been trying to find a solution um, to this problem for a little while and even um, actually contacted PlayStation just to get their thoughts and I've come up with a one solution and two workarounds so if you are having this problem this may actually help and do me a favour if you do actually find that this video has helped you um, then do please subscribe and put in a, a nice big uh, like and a comment to say exactly which part helps you because I think there's going to be lots of people out there with the same problem and if you can comment it will really help them out as well. Okay so just to be clear about the problem we're trying to solve here we have a video made in ShareFactory and a thumbnail made in ShareFactory. The thumbnail is attached to the video and we have clicked on generate thumbnail on that so we then upload it to YouTube and we can see a thumbnail at this part we are going through the process and we are um, going to share and then we want to share with YouTube and the problem where people are having is that when they get to YouTube the thumbnail is not there although the video is Okay, so I've got one solution and two workarounds for you. So if the solution doesn't work, then please carry on watching and the two workarounds will be absolutely fine. If the solution does work, then you don't need to carry on watching, but do comment below to let me know it has worked and try and help everyone else out by letting them know that it has worked. Okay, and also please go to Phantom Murders and subscribe to their channel if it has worked because they are the ones that told me about the problem, but also told me that what we're about to do solved it for them and they can now upload the um, thumbnails with the videos onto YouTube. Okay so let's get into how we solve it. I've created a um, new channel here what you want to do is go up to the profile, go into settings and then go down to channel status and features and what you want to do is just look up onto the left hand side here where it says verify. Now if your channel says verify then it means you need to take action. Okay, if it says verified, then just follow the following two steps. Okay, um, of the workarounds. So you can see we haven't verified our account, and it says custom thumbnails here not enabled, and that is why the thumbnails are not going on to YouTube when you upload them from ShareFactory. So if we want to be able to upload our thumbnails with our videos, then we need to verify the account. So the way we do that is by putting in our mobile number and selecting whether we want to receive an automated voice message or a text with a code. And then when we submit with our mobile number, our mobile will receive a code. And then we just enter it into this box here. And then when we click submit, that will confirm that it is done. And I've verified two YouTube channels and it's absolutely fine. I've now had no problems at all with this. Okay, we're pressing continue. It says congratulations, your YouTube is now uh, your YouTube channel is now verified. We've got a verified tick at the top here, and then when we scroll down here, it says custom thumbnails enabled. Okay, that is what we want to see. Okay, so please do follow those steps, and then go back and check. And you can see here actually features require phone verifications, custom thumbnails. Okay, and there's other benefits as well. So please do just go and try now. Once you've done your verified your account, check whether the thumbnails upload for you. Okay, so I'm hoping by verifying your account that has worked and you can now upload your thumbnails with your video to YouTube. If you can't, then we just go through to the first workaround, which is saving the thumbnail to USB memory stick and adding it to a video in YouTube. Okay, so this means that we are sending the video clip separately to the uh, thumbnail. So we're going to just upload, I've just selected a random clip here, we're just going to upload that as we normally would do onto YouTube and what we're going to do then is once that is uploaded we're going to get to our thumbnail that we've made in ShareFactory and we're going to just save that to a USB and then we're going to save 
that um, onto uh, from the USB through to the YouTube channel itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the um, thumbnail here okay and we're just going to check it's all okay and we're just going to render the photo um, as we normally would do or the, render the thumbnail sorry and then we come out of that safe project and we come out of share factory completely and we go into the main screen and then what we want to do is go across to capture gallery and then in capture gallery we go to share factory and then we find our thumbnail and we use the options button and we go up to copy to USB storage device and you just follow the steps there now I can't carry it on because I'm recording this for you but it's very straightforward and then what you go on it go on to your YouTube channel you go into the videos and then you go to details on the video and then what we want to do is obviously this is just showing this is the video only okay and what we want to do is scroll down a little bit and you see where it says the blue button there it says create thumbnail we want to click on create thumbnail and then that takes us to this page here and what we want to do is go to other image and we want to click on other image and then it says uh, in the white box here drop file here or click to browse for files we want to click on there and then we've got the USB plugged into the um, laptop or PC and then we um, will it will automatically generate these folders for you on your memory stick and you just go into the share factory there and you click on the thumbnail you've got and then what you can do is just keep following the process and then click on the buttons save the project there and close and then leave it a probably a few seconds I normally refresh the screen and straight away you'll see the thumbnail appear on the video as it is there and that is the first workaround on how to get your thumbnail onto your YouTube video option two is add a thumbnail to the end of your video and then use the same sort of screen that we just did um, to uh, uh, to add it to your um, so that it acts as a thumbnail for you on YouTube. So what we're doing is we're going to um, the video, we're adding a thumbnail, and there's a thumbnail right at the end. And what we're just going to do is trim the clip to make it as small as possible. And then once we've done that, we can press the triangle to upload the video. Um, the negative about this is that your thumbnail will be at the end of your video. Okay, so that's the downside. Okay, most people will have a reasonably long video and then you'll have an end screen for 20 seconds so to be honest most viewers aren't going to be watching all the way to the end of your end screen so the likelihood is people won't really notice it and that's why we're putting it at the end so we've uploaded that now to YouTube and then we come out of share factory and then we just go into our YouTube channel we find the video go into details and then we'll be able to see that the video or oh, sorry the thumbnail is right at the end of the video clip on here okay so we just play that so you can see quickly that it's playing right at the end uh, very briefly there okay so we know that it's on the video clip already we're going to go down to the blue create thumbnail button okay and it gives us the option of using the video clip to uh, choose what thumbnail okay so if we were to use these buttons here or you can use the play button and use the bar along the bottom and we're just going to keep moving it across until we find the end part where we've got what we want the thumbnail to be okay so we're just going to get rid of that and just going to move along the button uh, along the bar all the way along the bottom until we get to what the thumbnail looks like once we've got that we click on next and then we can add things in that play about with that if you want to but they're just going to assume it's all okay and push next again that's going to show what it's going to look like it's not going to look right for Facebook or Twitter but for YouTube it will be fine we're going to push close okay and then we just refresh the screen again or it takes a, a few seconds I'd normally just refresh the screen and then you'll see that bit there will change to the thumbnail and should come up here there you go thumbnails on there then you carry on 
doing exactly what you normally would um, and that is two workarounds for you and one solution if you have found this has solved the problem for you please do subscribe to my channel I've spent a lot of time on on this and I would appreciate if you could subscribe and please do comment below to let me know how it whether it's worked and whether it's been of use to you because I want other people to see your comments and know that it's been of help so um, thanks very much for watching please do check out my other share factory videos and uh, thanks very much bye